Welcome guys to Boulder Town Martial Exhibition Day 6 with me Pang Makdulapan. So in day 6 we are gonna go to the form of heat with imaginary element. So let's go. This one is a bit tricky and also it's so conditional. So I will tell you uh, some uh, uh, guide maybe. Okay, there's two guide. First, the main guide that I will show you and the secondary. The secondary, I will not gonna show you, but I will tell you. So here we go. The first character, uh, not, uh, the trial character that we are using, there's two in here. There's wealth and inhibitor online. In my case, if you are using both or just using wealth, you are gonna using a lot of cycle more than five cycle so that's not an option for me but it's up to you maybe you have a really good uh, wealth build wealth build but in my experience because i don't have uh, wealth and in better night so i will not using wealth at all we will gonna focus on lunai so that, there you go the first bob that we got here when imprisoned enemy are attacked and if their toughness is depleting, it means that you are weakness break them. Their toughness will regenerate to 20% of their max, max toughness. So, let's say you weakness break enemy with inhibitor online and imprison them. Their toughness, you know, like the white mark up upper side upper side of uh, health, with being uh, uh with being re regenerate. 20% but the imprison effect are still there it's gonna be useful later on but for now just take note on that okay and there is three a weakness break that of uh, a uh, four weakness break that you need to know right now first of course imaginary the second one is uh, electric the third one is ice and the fourth one i will tell you win because the third pace in here you can see like progress one of third okay the third one the last one you need a win i mean win i'm i'm using electric and that's a really really tough to reach like a five cycle so it's up to you if you have a really good like a uh, electric character that's the secondary uh, guide uh, for from me but the main guide i will use the win character so let's go to the all the character first thing first there is <clears throat> uh imaginary a win ice and electric it's up to you uh for this one if you have a whoa if you can bump up a uh, in vitro line with whoa but whoa need uh, an r other character need have more 20% of uh, 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 break, uh, what is it called? Toughness break, more than 20%. So, yeah. Uh, you can use uh, any character that are uh, included in four uh, element that I already said. In this instance, I will use Blade because Blade is so, so cheap. Because uh, in every pace, like in between three pace that we are gonna you uh going through we are not gonna using more than three uh cycle so blade is only gonna using one skill point so he really really cheap and quite good it's a bit rng if blade being attacked uh five time that's really good but it's a bit rng so blade is just cheap one he not the key just being there to fill the gap the next one is gonna be our mayan uh destruction here we go inhibitor lunai here we go he was main source of uh, uh all the damage and also damage multiplier later on the third one third one this one is a bit tricky because we have a uh, inhibitor lunai so we need a warp skill point so you need a character like blade but we already had a blade so 
you you need a character that uh has skill point neutral or skill point positive like maybe huo huo or another character but you can choose another character like maybe bronya later on or kafka it's up to you you can also use clara if you want to uh but the main point is you need a character that not taking a lot of skill point that it, lunai really really need so for this one i will choose um jing liu because jing liu is uh, ice okay. also um see a uh, skill point neutral just need two uh, skill point after that we can attack two or three attack uh, for free uh yeah including the ultimate also uh maybe you can think like wow that's gonna take uh some skill point from lunai yeah i know that but here the secret sauce because in uh 1.5 phase 2 you have a good character that gonna give us some skill point which is hanya in this guide i'm using her a lot because she really 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 good to give us a lot of skill point if you see all of my video i'm using her a lot almost all maybe all if i'm not wrong so there you all go because we have hanya we are not gonna um thinking a lot about uh, jing liu taking some skill point from inhibitor tonight so let's go and remember uh the day six is a bit rng we hope that uh hanya being attacked or inhibitor tonight this two is the one ah oh, man they are attacking a <laughs> blade dang man ah they are attacking blade that's really bad because we'll really need <laughs> we'll really need a uh, hanya like this one is it's a bit uh bad for now man it's really bad for now the rng part is that uh, we need hanya being attack really hanya not blade blade is afterthought We need Hanya to be attack. Like here we go. We almost uh, fall. Ha make Hanya fall. Because we need uh, only finish this uh, per space in one turn. So don't worry. Uh, we can read it again. Because the uh, uh, pace two and pace three are gonna take uh, two cycle. We wanted to finishing this one in five cycle. So. Don't worry to go if you wanted to, you if you needed to, uh, retreat and come back again. We, it's a, I hate this is like this is a bit RNG like we need, hanya being attacked like, or in better night. Ah, there you go, hanya not being attacked again. So we are gonna retreat again. I hate it, man. I really hate, but hanya is uh, the, the uh, secret sauce. There you go. I hope Hanya like being attacked like that, man. There you go. Okay, Hanya being attacked twice. That's really good. So we are gonna using Hanya skill. There you go. Now Hanya skill is almost full. There you go. That's our secret sauce. Okay. So we are gonna using skill for uh, Invitor Online. There you go. Using Jing Liu also. And here we go. We are not gonna using a, a skill for blade because blade just after four. There you go. In veteran, I have a uh, ultimate. Okay, here we go. Hanya, we're gonna using Hanya ultimate just in case. Here we go. Hanya ultimate on inhibitor lunai. There you go. In here, we are gonna using ultimate first. There you go. After that, we are gonna pump up him to the max. There you go. 
in here depend on your character like if you have really really good imibitor lunai uh what it called ah, i'm sorry a bill imibitor lunai really good you gonna be uh, destroying here destroying the enemy because like uh in here the trial one is uh, quite bad like you are more welcome to you so you should be uh, able to destroy it if you have uh, inhibitor lunai but unlucky for me i don't have it so i will using a jingle you in here so we are still in turn uh, uh cycle one cycle one because we are using a uh, uh, jingle you we using her skill first and what now is the second one so we have a uh, extra turn there you go there you, there you go if you are not destroying he, him uh, in this attack we can uh, using the ultimate for jingle you too this is so good man this is so good if you have jingle you please using her there you go she's not dead but we have ultimate i mean the enemy not dead not <laughs> jingle you there you go still in one cycle one cycle okay here the second buff there is a uh, uh, the right one you gonna maybe you tempting to using it like but you know like 200 i know it but we are not gonna using that we are gonna using this one after enemy receive a break damage the break damage multiplier they receive increase by 80 percent this effect can stack up to 15 times this one is six times and also is only for imaginary like because affected with imprisoner it man that's a bit tough and remember the first buff is when you imprison the enemy their toughness is gonna be uh, regenerate so after regenerate we can uh uh imply another weakness like wind shear or a frozen so we are gonna use this one so we are gonna imply multiple uh, weakness weakness on enemy so here we go or electric electric if you choose electric here we go i know there you go like uh, why you think we and there is electric the, the third one is the one that really tricky uh you you're gonna see it in the third uh, pace here we go let's jump into it okay in here we're gonna using a uh, two cycle so in here we are not gonna uh, a bit like uh, rng like before we are just attacking the the main boss so it's okay <laughs> it's all okay in here we are not gonna attack like uh, like before we are like you know like uh just everything in the night in here you can use uh his skill but in here i will just attacking hit the enemy with normal attack there you go jing liu and in here we are using blade here we go just one time this is one time skill use so it's good for uh, later on there you go okay if you are using well that's gonna be really bad because if you imprison the minion they are not gonna giving us some uh, energy for ultimate so well is a big no no for me but it's up to you man but remember if you are using well it's gonna be more than five cycle overall there you go in here it's up to you like in here it's up to you <laughs> in here i will choose uh even better night like to being buff by hanya this is really good this is really really good like you can use like more 
but I will use him just one. It's up to you, man. It's up to you. Here we go. We are gonna imply the weakness break. There you go. After this, we are gonna imply the second uh, bar, uh, debuff for the enemy. There you go. With Jing Liu. Jing Liu also uh, really good in here. Really, really good. Like, here we go. Once again, we are gonna imply the weakness break again. That's really good because uh, the weakness break is gonna be like a uh, multiply. Here we go. Break break uh, damage vulnerable. It's gonna be a uh, 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 stack up. We have four in here, so it's good. They can using blade again if you want to, or another character. It's up to you. There you go. Two cycle, and we are not even like oh, uh, close to the to the end. So there you go. You can use like a uh, like like uh, I've said. You can pop up uh, like uh, jingle uh, Luna uh, to the max. D depend on your character, man. If you have a uh, Luna, just pop him up. <laughs> okay, here we go. The third base. Uh, the third uh, buff. I uh, not yeah buff. Oh the buff. <laughs> uh, there is uh this one. I know it's tempting to use imaginary ultimate man, but this is the tricky one. We are gonna using this one when the enemy is weakness broken. The weakness break effect of ally. Oh, okay, here we go. The weakness break of all oh, its type weakness will also be triggered sim trigger sim simultaneously. Here we go. In here, the weakness break. Uh, let's say the enemy have uh, three weakness break ice imaginary and wind well three of them gonna be a trigger again and again and again remember that uh, the enemy uh weakness tough uh, uh break toughness is gonna be uh, regenerate again and again and again so it's really good it's gonna be happen again happen again happen again there's gonna be a, a buff of the second buff second uh, second buff that we uh, have before so it's really really good in here you can see why i'm using blade or any win character you can use sample or whoa, whoa. here we go see there is a a win character in, uh, in the middle there's a win and imaginary there you go that's my uh my point why i'm using blade not uh uh what's called electric because in here you can see there is no electric weakness in here so there you go man because the third one that maybe you will have tough time to deal with so here we go that's why i'm using wind character okay let's jump into it we only uh using three uh cycle so we have two cycle a bit a bit leeway so it's all it's good you need to remember the first one is the in the first you know in the first cycle uh, i mean the cycle the first uh phase you only you should be oh uh, finishing it in one cycle i repeat in the first phase, you need to finish it in one cycle because the second, uh, uh, second and third phase, you really uh, not gonna uh, finishing it in one cycle. Just remember that. Okay, in here, because we using Hanya, so is Hanya gonna uh, contribute to weakness break too? So there you go. Also give us a uh, skill point. There you go. In here, this is a bit tricky. It's up to you, but I will use a uh, skill point. Just one. It's up to you. You can use skill point uh, one or no. But uh, I don't know. I think uh, 
this is a bit RNG because Imibitor Luna is being a targeting, so also Blade being target, I will change the strategy. Again, this is a bit RNG. If uh, I'll attack uh, towards Lunai, I will just use all the skill for Lunai. But in here, you can see all the all the target is being spread out. So I will not using Lunai like uh, all the Lunai skill point. I will spread everything to everyone else, like ev like almost everyone. So I will just take. There you go. Using it for. Jingli, Jingli, and also we are using skill for blade. So there you go. Tech. There you go. Here we go. In here, we are gonna using uh, ah main blade. Okay. We are gonna using uh, inviter lunai right away. This is a bit RNG. There you go. Blade using it, but it's okay. Inviter Lunai also. In here, okay. It's a bit uh, tough. Yeah, it's a bit tough, man. This is also RNG right now. Okay. We have three in here. Like three cycle. So, uh, not three cycle. More than three uh, skill points, so we are using him. There you go. And we are gonna weakness break this one. And using uh, ultimate. There you go. We are gonna using it again. There you go. We have blade two. In here, it's depend on you. Like hanya gonna give is giving us uh, some skill point, but it's up to you. You can bump up uh Jingli uh Lunai, but in here I will bump up uh Inviter Lunai uh Jingli Hu bra. What's what's wrong with me? <laughs> Remember, in third pa uh, in phase one and phase two, it's so so uh, tricky. <laughs> it's so so tricky. There you go. If you have a good uh, lunite, it's gonna be destroyed. But sadly, I don't have it. So here we go. There you go. In two, in two cycle so in total i'm using five cycle i know this one is a, a long video so sorry guys i'm so sorry there you go win it man 20 20 minutes i'm so sorry but there you go the sixth day so thank you so much uh, for all of you if you like this kind of content you can go to panglima kegelapan .star .page. In there, you can find all of my social media and how to support me. Or say hi when I'm live streaming on every platform. So, thank you so much for your <laughs> time. I know this is 20, 20 minutes, but thank you so much. This one is tricky and a lot of RNG thing. So, please, uh, you sing it, man. Thank you so much. See you again in the last uh the last day okay see you again next time bye